going on everyone it's rando i'm back with another video i just wanted to share something that i felt was very crucial um especially if you're gonna conceal carry or everyday carry um or just own a firearm in general like a, a huge huge thing that you need even after you purchase the firearm itself and getting ammo and uh, maybe an optic or anything is a good holster you really have to have that that's like an essential component just to your to the package and you really shouldn't be cheaping out on it per se where you're like yeah you know i'll get something for 20 bucks off amazon you really actually need to put the put the money and thought into it to get something that's worthwhile um and another thing that i feel is important is if like you really want to carry you have to understand like the different options of carrying and you might get yourself a nice holster like this one um you know that's going to be kind of a, like on this worn outside the waistband and on the side you could put like underneath your I don't know if you can see it, sorry. Um, you're going to put underneath, you know, like a shirt right there like that. And it'll feel very comfortable and nice. And that's a that's a great option. And if you're comfortable, you know, drawing from that position, then, hey, that's awesome. I'm comfortable from it. But it, I also wanted to broaden my horizons a little bit. So uh, definitely myself, newer to the game of appendix carry. And I actually am right now. And I don't even have a gun belt on. This is actually just a regular belt that I bought at Walmart, believe it or not just holding pants up. So I do have that on and I want to show you something real quick. So I'll reach over here and grab it. This is more of like an actual gun belt. You see how it's uh, a little bit more rigid in certain areas, especially uh, like right here. This is actually my recommendation. I was wearing one and I actually wearing this belt. I have the, the loop on the side of it actually like the, where the clip is in the clasp. So it's not in the front and, and, and you know, impeding my appendix carry. So for this one, I would I would thread through because it's a little bit more rigid here and there. I would actually have it sitting more like this, this side over the front, and I would actually put my clips right there for it to work. So I do like to wear a gun belt and that does help. That's something that I definitely took me a little while to pick up on and learn and be like, oh wow, that's actually a vital tool as well. So I do have my regular old belt on. I am appendix carrying right now and actually has a sidecar on it too. Um, just wanted to show you for the sake of us today, the gun itself is unloaded, nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. So we're gonna drop that back. So the holster I have today is really what I kind of wanted to go over and do a little bit of review for because whenever I myself was picking out one, like many of you, you're, you're gonna hit YouTube, you're gonna hit that Google and you're gonna be like, uh, append best appendix uh, option for a concealed carry and you're gonna maybe have something in mind you probably saw something from all kinds of brands or something shown out there um, by one of your you know your favorite youtubers and they're gonna recommend something to you but I didn't see anything on the brand that I have and I looked at their stuff and I was like okay I was like I was I was thinking that looks like a really good option. I think that something I would like, even though I don't see a review on it, you know, on their website um, and on their social media, there's some, there are some really good reviews and I believe those reviews as well, just as much as I believe watching, you know, some, some, someone demonstrate something for me. So maybe I can be the first to bring it to you in a way. And I went through um, Censored Tactical. I don't know if any of you ever heard of them. If you have, please drop a comment. And I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, they just seem like a really good company and I've been wearing this holster for a little over a month now and when I say wearing it I mean there's some days I wore it six plus hours and I did a little short with it a while back where I was you know showing what you can do in one because you really can even with this on like I said this is not a this is not a gun belt at all but I feel you know I could bend over and I could tie my shoes you know you can you can jump around <laughs> if that's what you want to do but I feel that you can be very mobile and flexible in this in this holster and not have to worry about anything. Yeah, retention's really great. I'm gonna take it out here in a second. We're gonna kinda get a closer look at it together. But I just wanted to touch on that, that, that it seems like a really great company. Um, I talked to them like whenever I was first ordering the holster because I actually had a couple questions about some other ones like for different firearms that they had available. Um, and I ultimately decided to go with one for my attack ops, which is what I showed you, it was unloaded. And it fits it great. Now I don't have a light on the TAC Ops or anything and I'm okay with that because I have a light on another firearm and this is one that I'm mostly carrying during the day. And it's not on my bedside table for 
you know, protection of the home. I got a, I got a shotgun there. So I'm going to take it off here for you and let's kind of go over it a little bit together. So if we're looking at this holster itself, whenever you're picking this out online, you there's multiple color options, camo patterns, topographical stuff, um, patriotic stuff like and but this right here is actually their alpha in the waistband series now they have a bunch of other series as well for lighted um, without the sidecar uh, outside the waistband and for multiple makes and models of firearms as well but again this is what I chose from that company and I chose to wear I picked out the colors so don't hate on it just threw something together I feel uh, so you know this magazine is unloaded fit like you know that that's holding really well in there i feel that you know overall like fit and finish are really great retention is good i want you to hear the so let me get this out you know it's very audible a nice audible tactile click in there that you're locking in position i'll take everything out of it for a second here just so we can take a look at it and set it down so if you're looking at it itself this is one of the claw attachments that came with. It actually came with another one, a little bit smaller claw attachment, um, if in case you wanted that. I, I actually don't mind this size there, this size that's here, and it really pushes back well for, against the belt back into the body so you're not printing as much. These nice clips that are here, like they, so, it's very like inch and a half belt loop. They feel pretty sturdy, honestly. I haven't had any issues with them bending and moving around. The edges on it, there's nothing sharp. Everything's super smooth. Very nice. Like, it, it just feels well-made. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot well-made. I'm just telling you that this company here, Sensor Tactical, um, they're really doing some good work. And so that's why I want to support them, and I wanted to show this off. Maybe, you know, in case you're in the market for one and you're getting new into it. And I was a little bit leery at first of, oh, man, is this thing going to be comfortable? How am I going to move? It really is. It Like, truly, truly comfortable. I was shocked. So just looking at it, I mean, the hardware looks nice. They offer on the site to do like, you know, Loctite it for you and stuff. Tons of options for colors, like I said, and just stupid comfortable and not breaking the bank either. Cause I know that getting into um, carrying in general, like your initial firearm purchase could be pretty pricey. And then you're looking to gear yourself up and you also don't want to break the, break the bank doing that and but like i said the crucial thing that you need is a good holster you need a, something that you can trust just as much as you're going to trust your firearm with your life you need to trust that your holster is going to do its job too but you also need to properly conceal you don't want to just you know throw it in your grocery bag and carry your gun around you need something to set yourself up for success and i feel that this company is able to do that so by all means go check them out they seem like really good people which i'm sure they are uh, so I'll drop a, I'll put a link down in the description to their website and again I'm not trying to sell you anything I'm just trying to inform you of good products out there and maybe how to set yourself up for success with appendix carrying I wrote I had some footage going whenever uh, like right before the video of me you know actually drawing and shooting and I'm gonna roll just a couple clips after but I do feel that this just works well you're able to draw I can put it back in here for real quick like I said, wearing a gun belt really does help. But I don't have one on right now. I just purposely did that because I know a lot of people aren't, as soon as they buy a gun, aren't going to go out and buy a gun belt. And that's okay. Because you don't have to. You can go out and carry without it. So, just dropping these in real quick. Sorry, I'm chubby. I got to yeah, make sure I don't pinch myself. So, got to adjust your pants a little bit. But, honestly, I don't... I don't feel like I'm printing anywhere. I feel like it's good. I feel like if I wanted to, you know, if I needed to, I could, like, you know, very quickly get it. So I'm not printing anywhere. Like I said, I feel that if I really needed to, I could get out and I could draw my firearm. I could also retrieve a spare mag very easily. I feel that I don't really even need to look down. Um, the opening is big enough and then it's very tactile whenever you actually put it back in and, and holster your weapon. So, you know, it's getting back in there and it's fine. It's, I'm not having to, you know, draw and then be like, gotta find it, there we go. Now I know that you can do that, but I feel that you can do it pretty well without, without having to try too hard. 
So again, setting you up for success. But I really just wanted to share that with you because I and and another and a reason I chose a side like an option with a sidecar because as I mentioned videos back about making sure that whenever you purchase a firearm you have magazines with it is because whatever you're out with that's what you took to the fight or that's what you took with you to protect yourself so if you only have that one mag with you whether it's five rounds or whether it's 20 rounds that's what you have so that the sidecar and the spare mag gives you a chance to you know stay in it if you have to that's just my two cents though take it or leave it but again this is all just my opinion and i i implore you to go create your own opinion and find something that truly works for you and i want you to be successful don't forget to go out and train with it though even though you might have a nice new holster whenever you go to the range wear that holster to the range wear that gun in that holster to the range Whenever you get in a car and you want to travel, you might need to loosen your belt up a little bit, and that's okay. You loosen that belt up a little bit. Get your pants up into a proper position, riding above your hips a little bit, so that whenever you sit, nothing's getting crammed down there, you know what I mean? And learn learn with it. Uh, you'll be able to carry it whenever you're out in public, and you don't want to have to be awkward trying to sit back. You know, take a minute. Stand there. You know, you're not pulling on anything. Adjust yourself. And then you take your seat and that's okay you're you're allowed to you know as long as you're exercising your rights and legally concealed carrying you know that's fine do your thing carry on and just remember there's so many options out there do the research for yourself you might not like this option that i have and that's absolutely fine there's uh options that are a little bit cheaper because uh, but this did not break the bank by any means and the holsters that sensors tactical um, offers I don't feel break the bank at all I feel they're very affordable for everyone that like me that is gonna go to work and is gonna buy a firearm wants to carry it and then also is gonna go out and purchase something good for theirs so I, I feel it's gonna work for you like it's working for me but if this isn't for you that's fine there's definitely options out there that are more expensive and that's also fine so find what works for you this works for me as long as you're out there exercising your rights, then I'm thankful for that and I'm happy for you. Uh, while you're out there though, just remember, be safe, be kind, God bless, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.